250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Cowboys versus the Steelers. Y'all already know who I'm going for. Steelers are my team, but I'm here in Dallas. I'm holding it down in Dallas. I can hang with the Cowboys. You understand what I'm saying? From Oak Cliff to South Dallas, East Dallas, West Dallas, North Dallas, where you at? Pleasant Grove, stand up. But love the people. Eh, not so much the Cowboys, only because Cowboys do Cowboy things. Like I said, Steelers is my team, and it looks like Steelers is going to hand going to uh, give the Cowboys another L because Cowboys have not beaten a good team in a long time. And that's what it comes down to. Dak Prescott is known for not beating good teams. He's not known. I know what I'm talking about. I ain't got to pull up no stats. I'm living in Dallas. Been in Dallas for 10 years now. I know what the hell I'm talking about. Dallas Prescott has never beaten a top-tier team. He beat the same old scallywags. Uh, the Washington Commanders, uh, the, the the Eagles. The Eagles are a solid team. They ain't going to beat the Eagles. Uh, they can't beat New Orleans. They can't beat the Baltimore Ravens. I'm talking about, we're talking about really good teams. Dak Prescott has never beaten a good team. He's never beaten a good <laughs> Dak Prescott has never beaten a good team. And it's just, it's sad that Jerry Jones paid this man. He was hooping and hollering about all this damn money. And he can't even get them to the conference championship. Can y'all at least get to the conference championship? Can y'all at least win two playoff go- playoff games in a single season? Can y'all at least get past the second round? That Prescott has never gotten past the second round in the goddamn playoffs. Never gotten around to the second round in the playoffs. So I don't know how the hell if you can't beat the Steelers, you can't beat the Baltimore Ravens, you can't beat Green Bay, you can't beat nobody good. And Steelers are really good. They got a damn good coach, Mike Thompson. I mean, I mean, who I predict in the words of uh, Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless, Cowboys would do cowboy things and lay an egg. And I'm still dumbfounded how they are the richest franchise in all the sports. Every sport that's out there, Dallas Cowboys are the richest, the most lucrative sports team how they haven't won nothing in 26 years they haven't won anything in 26 wait no 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 that was a was that 95 no 19 years well that's time hold on the last super bowl was 90 i think it's 20 years Ninety six when they beat the Steelers, so they haven't won the Super Bowl. That's what. Um. Twenty twenty eight years, Jesus. They haven't won a Super Bowl in twenty eight years. Dallas Cowboys. I don't know how they're getting all this money, but. Another problem, word on the street, not when I talk to Dallas Cowboys fan, another another contributing factor to their failures. Everybody talking about Jerry Jones. They said Jerry Jones wants to be everything. He wants to be the head coach. He wants to be the parking lot attendant. He wants to be the defensive coordinator. He wants to be the recruiter. He wants to be everything. He wants to drive the players up to the game, to the away games. He wants to he wants to, <laughs> he wants to do it all. He he will fly the Cowboys to them uh, games far away. He want to be the pilot. He wants to be the cheerleader. This man wants to be everything. He always talking. 
talk, 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 talk. And he has mastered selling Dallas Cowboy fans hope. He has mastered selling the beautiful people of Dallas, the Dallas Cowboy fans hope every year. And they fall for the banana in the tailpipe every year. That egg will be a massive egg Sunday night, October 6th. October 6th, the egg. <laughs> will be an egg like you've never seen before. You can't get this egg at Kroger. You can't get this egg at Winco, Albertsons, Safeway. This this type of egg can only come from the Dallas Cowboys football team. This egg will be dropped on Pittsburgh's field after they get their asses knocked around, slapped around by the Steelers. But y'all flood my comments. Do y'all think the Cowboys have what it takes to beat the three and one Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't, but y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. 250 Capital G, I'm gone.